Oh my goodness, honestly, boy, I've just got back to the UK and I'm dead. I don't even know where to start. I was in America, now I'm back in London. Boy, so I'm gonna show you guys the initial stage of the vlog and then <laughs> from now me being back in London, you're gonna hear everything about what happened. city and I was meant to go to Garden City. Long story short, there were financial problems with the college so international players had to be released. So that meant that I had to look for other colleges, I was looking around, managed to get really lucky and Kapai Lincoln offered me a scholarship, some other schools offered me scholarships. So I was just blessed to, you know, still chase my dream. It's kind of stuck in a really unlucky situation. You know, I was in the UK, booked my flight the day before because I had to make sure my visa was sorted. I got to Chicago, that's when my vlog stopped because you know, you're not allowed to basically film in the Nassau sort of immigration hall but so the lady's talking to me and she's asking why the F1 doesn't match my I-20 but basically the F1's for the student to be just showing you have a student visa and the I-20 is more specific to the school so I have an I-20 for Kapaya Lincoln and my old one for Garden City got scrapped basically she had basically just gone on to say that 
it doesn't match but it doesn't need to match because as I've already got a student visa it should allow me to basically be able to use my 20 from another college they took me into the borders custom custom patrol something like that you know at this point I've got like two hours until my next flight and I'm just kind of in a sticky situation I've been waiting for like an hour and I'm looking at the time and <laughs> boy no one was telling me anything so she finally ushers me in she tells me that basically the situation was I got the right F1 and the right F20 but they don't match but they shouldn't need to so then there's still a bit of more confusion they don't really know what's going on I have no idea what's going on I'm speaking to my coach speaking to my mom because I'm very limited on who I could speak to at the time I was very limited with contact so I was basically still stuck there and then I got in for an interview and basically you know in this interview they just basically go on to say because it's my original entry into the country my I 20 doesn't work because it should be the Garden City so I should really be going on that visa to Garden City and so I should have got a whole brand new F1 but that shouldn't really be a problem because most of the time a lot of guys who are coming from international who are international students they use the F1 and then match it with an I-20 but because it's my first time going it doesn't work like that but that wasn't necessarily explained or understood by anybody because you know it does it's not really it doesn't really happen it's very rare it's very frustrating I'm there and you know she's telling me ah oh, so this means you're gonna have to go back to London and I'll be real with you at this point I broke down because if you understood my journey and understood everything that I've been through I was so looking forward to this trip I was been waiting for so long I was really meant to go in July season got cancelled meant to go in January then I got told that I couldn't go to the college so I had to look for somewhere else so that's just the initial stages of it all and I had so many different things leading up to COVID I'm not gonna say COVID's hit me terribly because it hasn't but it has but in that situation it was just like all of that emotion was just drained and then they get told you know at this point it's like one o'clock your flight to London is at six so I'm gonna be here for another five hours I've already been there for a couple of hours already I'm there and then I'm back and forth from my college we're trying to figure things out and it seems like we are but they weren't budging they weren't budging at all so basically meaning I'm gonna have to go to the UK at that point and get a new visa so you know I've been there for like seven hours hadn't eaten like respectfully the, offer, the food they offered was like these 50p looking microwavable meals and it's like boy you've been here for at this point I've been there for like five hours I'm starving I have nothing to eat and it's like dog you're barely letting me on my phone you're barely letting me eat it's like it kind of felt like I was being treated like a prisoner I can't lie it's coming towards the time for my flight so then I asked you know before maybe even an hour before can I get some food yes you can so I'm thinking great <laughs> I'm thinking great I'm gonna get some good food because at the whole point I was looking forward to getting my Chick-fil-A you know getting out on a vlog showing you guys how much I love Chick-fil-A but then obviously I wasn't allowed to do that but then I thought I could actually I thought I could do that because I was told that I could so I get ushered by two security guards <laughs> you know they basically take me into this like police looking vehicle downstairs it's like barricaded whatever and I'm thinking to myself boy all I did was <laughs> go on a visa that's valid like <laughs> what's the situation I go inside this thing I get taken directly downstairs straight to the flight to, to the aeroplane and it was just crazy because it was just like all of this was such a it's an unpredicted situation so I get ushered on boom they put my stuff on I gotta go upstairs now at this point I'm asking like can I get some food and like okay cool you can just quickly fill this out I fill out this COVID form blah 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 and then I finished it can I get some food nah you got a board I was this close to losing it I swear to God because it's like bro I've it's not even I've worked but it's like I was so hungry I've been stuck in a room for like seven eight hours I'm going crazy at this point and I can't even get some food like and even on the airplane the food didn't come for like another two hours like, it's so difficult because you know you're so powerless and there's not really anything you can do about it you just gotta shut up and listen and so it's just like biting my lip man especially when I couldn't get food I was biting my lip because it's like bro I'm so hungry I've been through so much today man can I please get some food $15 food please can I just go and buy it myself oh, so yeah it was nuts inside I was just burning because it's like I've made it this far I'm one flight away from going to my desired location 
and they've obviously been stopped. So it's just a very unfortunate event, very, very unlucky. The school didn't mean to mess up. Then it, it's like, it's so unpredictable. It's one of those ones where nobody knew this would happen. I've spoken to like five other colleges about the same procedure and everybody thought that it would work like this. Everybody thought it would run this exact same way, as in get the I-20, it should work on my F1 visa, boom, I'm, in, I'm at the school. That's why I'm back in the UK because, as you guys know, I should really be in the US right now. But I just thought, you know what, let me explain it to you guys. Let me make it easier. But I can honestly say that was one of the worst 24 hours I've ever had in my life. You're on such a high mentally um, and emotionally because you've been waiting for something for so long. And then it can just get taken from you like that. And you're so close. Like you're on the country, in the country. You're so close, but so far. So I just want to say to you guys, you know, be grateful. Be grateful for everything you have because you know you never know when things can just go from you. You know, I think we've seen this last year with COVID, everything is unpredictable. Everything that you know you thought you'd aspire to work for, some of you guys have things taken away from you. But the only thing I say to my people is with two feet, we have God and we have our family and even our friends. So I, I don't even know how many things we got. We got so many things, and it's like we can't let all of these small things try and define us. We can't let them try and make us. Just gotta use these situations come better come stronger and just not let them break us down because you know i was at the i was at a boiling point even when you know garden city did you know tell me about the situation at that point i was just so broken because it was just like i'd worked so hard to get it and then from matters out of my control i couldn't even change the events it was just a very heartbreaking moment but then i had to look at myself and say what's the point of getting upset what's me getting upset gonna do that's gonna help my future I've got to look for somewhere else, put myself out there, a better situation happen. So all I can say to you guys is be strong, be yourself, because honestly, God's got you. God has seriously got you and he will do everything in his power to get you to your desired destination in life. So I'm from the UK to the US to the UK. You know, I'm not going to be here for long. I'm going to get this visa and I'm out again. I know where I'm meant to be. Everyone that knows me knows where I'm meant to be. I meant to be in the US balling out. Yeah, um, that's the situation. Big up, you guys. Thank you very much.